this is Rack and Load, or well, Neil from Rack and Load, this is Sam from SRS Power, we're at the Northern Shooting Show. Yeah, live at the tent. The tent, yeah. <laughs> so you, you just had the, um, the talk, the Young Guns talk, how did that go? Yeah, it went really well actually, yeah, I thought it was, we covered a lot of topics, it would have been nice to have a bit longer, to be honest, um, yeah. we had about an hour, so we had to squeeze everything in, but uh, yeah, it went, it, went, it went very well actually, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. A good diverse number of people um, watching, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, I didn't really say much, but you know, I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're not controversial. No, then. no, I need to get yeah. more political, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and now, what's, what's been your highlight of the show today? Well, that, the talk was really good, really good. Um, but, I don't know, there's, I'm, to be fair, I've not actually been around it all uh, as of no, yet. Me neither. I, I, I keep I'm getting collared. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's, uh, it's a pretty good uh, setup. I mean, I've got, I've got to go down the, uh, down the clay line, have a look at that. Um, and there's the, uh, there's the speed steel as well. I think that might be uh, quite interesting. I don't know if you've got any footage of that. Yeah, but, I uh, think um, Mike was doing that yesterday. Was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got some footage of that. Cheeks and right. some steel. Look, 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 look yeah. good fun. And, and Sam, what's, what's your highlight on the show? Any favourite products? Well, again, it's funny you should say that because <laughs> I haven't had a chance to look around as, uh, as much as I'd have liked, to be honest. Um, the talk was obviously very fun. Um, but you know what I'm like? I'm not a product kind of guy. I've kind of got everything that I need, really. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the food was good. <laughs> food? Where was the food? Where was the food? <laughs> it took me a while, but Callum had to take me in his little Jeep thing. Oh, right. It gave me a good opportunity to get some footage because I was sort of just mowing people down. I told you you should have used that horn a little bit more, though, to get people to get out of the way. Just horn them. Right, Grand Theft Auto style. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's typical, though, as well, because I got some food, went back to the hospitality bit because there was no food there, and then suddenly food appeared. But never mind. Was, and, uh, and what's is there anything um, planned for this year for you two? Any anything coming up? For me, it's just as far as products go, various various bits. Got the Guncraft um, two two. Uh, Magnum, when the production one that's going to be coming soon, so I'll sort of get that on the channel. Know, like a full sort of tear down video yeah, that of that. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice bit of kit that was. Yeah, um, absolutely. But I think they're not quite ready yet. I think they're in proof. Um, so there's that. Um, made a, the odd little contact here, so there'll be a few uh, interesting bits coming. Yeah, I've got a few. Um, well normal things in the pipeline um, obviously yeah, sh ship hosting as they call it I don't know if I'm allowed to say that um, but also uh, lots of fox shooting and rabbit shooting hopefully at least make an appearance and some deer hopefully and hopefully also some stubble shooting if uh, we're actually allowed to <laughs> this year but also something that's in the works which I'm hoping for because I'm renewing my FAC this year so I am going to be putting down for a humane dispatch and I do have one of those bond arms derringers really high on my list so I have to wait and see my FEO isn't the most uh, easiest person to get things like that for but you never know I will endeavour to do that and see what happens is that that pink one that you <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's so over and under. It'll be about that. I'll get the longer barrel one, but it'll be very useful because um, it's not happened yet. It has happened with foxes. I've just shot them again. But I'm very worried that it, I could, you know, accidentally pull a shot and then in a situation where I'm like point blank on a deer and I've got to pull it down. And obviously, I don't want to be in that situation with the center fire. So, uh, yeah, having a little 410 would be just a job, to be honest. And it's something I can actually physically carry, you know. So. We shall see, yeah. we shall see. Interesting. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all good. And also we were talking to, to uh, Mike Lindsay about possibly at some point getting up to Northern Ireland for us doing a, a Young Guns shoot, which should be quite good getting the whole gang together and uh, yeah, him showing off his MP5 and yeah. his Glock and yeah. all the sort of cool things that they're allowed to have that we, we, we can't be trusted with. So yeah, yeah, it'll be good to see, it'll be good to see. Brilliant, um, and is, is there anything that you'd like to to say to encourage people to come to the show next year? Yeah, I thought it's, it's, it's a brilliant mix. It's a bit like going to the British Shooting Show in terms of the nice commercial element combined with sort of country fair feel. You've got a lot of outdoor yeah. shooting and it's a lot more personal. Um, it's, it, it's really nice. I mean, obviously it's nice for me because I know Paul and stuff, but generally it's very, very welcoming here. It's, it's a really great place to hang out. So 
Yeah, yeah. I'd recommend it. Like you say, it's, it's like a cross between um, a big shooting show and a game for all in one, isn't it? Yeah, it is, you know? it is, it is. So there's something yeah, for everyone, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, I think. So I'd highly, highly recommend it. Yeah.